Welcome to a cinematic journey back to 1943, where Alfred Hitchcock's Shadow of a Doubt unfolds a gripping narrative that keeps you on the edge of your seat. Have you ever pondered when you first experienced this cinematic gem? Or perhaps, in the ensemble of characters, which one left an indelible mark on your memory? Before we delve into your reflections, let's set the stage with some intriguing tidbits about the film. Hitchcock, known for his mastery in suspense, weaves a tale of suspense and family dynamics. The storyline takes an unexpected turn when a seemingly idyllic family is confronted with unsettling truths. The film's atmosphere, enriched by its wartime backdrop, adds an extra layer of tension to the narrative. Now, back to your thoughts. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to Shadow of a Doubt? Did it leave you with a lasting impression or perhaps become a shared moment with friends and family? We invite you to share your stories and memories in the comments below. Embark on this journey down memory lane with us and let the discussions begin. What was the first time you watched this movie and which character resonated with you the most? Share your insights and connect with fellow enthusiasts who have been captivated by Hitchcock's timeless creation. Join the conversation and unfold the layers of your shadow of a doubt experience. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. In Alfred Hitchcock's 1943 film Shadow of a Doubt, Joseph Cotton took on the role of Uncle Charlie after MGM rejected Hitchcock's choice, William Powell. Despite Powell being Hitchcock's preference, Cotton's portrayal added depth to the character. Teresa Wright, in her fourth film, received top billing over Joseph Cotton, showcasing her rising star. Her previous three films earned her Academy Award nominations, including a win for Best Supporting Actress. This marked a shift in her Oscar trajectory. The film's plot loosely draws from real-life events involving serial killer Earl Nelson. Charlie's sister mentions a childhood bicycle accident that altered his personality, mirroring Nelson's descent into criminality post a similar incident. Shadow of a Doubt weaves a suspenseful narrative, utilizing Cotton's compelling performance and Wright's rising talent. The film's connection to a real-life criminal adds an eerie layer to the storyline, heightening its psychological depth. Alfred Hitchcock's 1943 film, Shadow of a Doubt, explores the dark undercurrents of familial ties and the facade of suburban normalcy. One intriguing aspect is the frequent mention of the name Charlie throughout the movie, a subtle yet pervasive motif that underscores the central character's enigmatic nature. In the casting process, Hitchcock initially considered Cary Grant for the role of Uncle Charlie before Joseph Cotton took on the character. This deliberation sheds light on the director's meticulous approach to selecting actors who could bring depth to their roles. Interestingly, despite its eventual recognition as a cinematic classic, Shadow of a Doubt faced commercial challenges upon its release, ranking 81 at the box office for the year and marking an unexpected turn in its reception. This box office ranking provides insight into the film's initial struggle to resonate with audiences. Navigating the narrative through the lens of these facts reveals the nuanced layers of Hitchcock's storytelling and shadow of a doubt. The repetition of the name Charlie serves as a thematic anchor, while the casting decisions and box office performance contribute to the film's intricate backstory. This combination of elements creates a compelling backdrop for understanding the film's impact and legacy. In summary, Hitchcock's meticulous casting decisions, the recurring motif of the name Charlie, and the unexpected box office reception collectively contribute to the enduring intrigue of the 1943 movie Shadow of a Doubt. Teresa Wright, without reading the script, accepted her role in the 1943 film Shadow of a Doubt after Hitchcock personally briefed her on the plot. This decision showcased Hitchcock's persuasive storytelling and Wright's trust in his vision. The film, delving into the ominous undercurrents of suburban life, features a deliberate symbol of impending evil the dense, black smoke from Charles Oakley's arrival on a train. Hitchcock, in a 1967 interview, explained this choice, adding a layer of foreboding to the narrative. Notably, the $40,000 Charlie opens a bank account within the film would be valued at $606,000 today. These details offer intriguing insights into the making and themes of Shadow of a Doubt, enhancing our understanding of the film's impact. The Newton family home and the Stone Railway Station, both featured prominently in the 1943 movie Shadow of a Doubt, continue to exist in Santa Rosa. 
Remarkably, the stone railway station was constructed in 1904, adding a touch of historical significance to the film's setting. However, not all remnants of the movie's backdrop stand the test of time. The Carnegie Library, a location in the film, met its end in 1964 due to seismic concerns. Additionally, some of the town's central buildings, which played a role in the movie's scenes, suffered damage or destruction in the earthquakes of 1969. The choice of authentic locations in Santa Rosa brings a unique layer of realism to shadow of a doubt. The preservation of certain landmarks connects present-day viewers with the tangible history embedded in the film's narrative. As we explore these enduring structures, we gain insights into the movie-making process and the deliberate selection of settings that contribute to the film's lasting impact. The local touch extends beyond the architecture. Edna May Wanacott, who portrayed Ann Newton, and Estelle Jewell, who played Catherine, were residents of Santa Rosa. This casting decision aligns with Hitchcock's commitment to authenticity, drawing on local talent to enhance the film's realism. Moreover, the use of Santa Rosa residents as extras, despite the Hollywood distance constraints, sheds light on the practical considerations in the film's production. In summary, the lasting presence of the Newton family home and the Stone Railway Station in Santa Rosa, coupled with the fate of the Carnegie Library and earthquake-damaged buildings, offers a compelling glimpse into the tangible remnants of Shadow of a Doubt. These physical connections to the past underscore Hitchcock's dedication to authenticity, making the movie not just a cinematic creation, but a historical snapshot of a town and its people. Alfred Hitchcock often cited Shadow of a Doubt as his favorite movie. This 1943 film delves into the unsettling dynamics of family ties and suburban facades. One subtle yet noteworthy detail is the recurrent mention of the name Charlie, a motif that underscores the enigmatic nature of the central character. Hitchcock's meticulous casting process initially considered Cary Grant for the role of Uncle Charlie, but Joseph Cotton eventually took on the character, adding depth to the film. Despite its eventual recognition as a cinematic classic, Shadow of a Doubt faced commercial challenges upon release, ranking 81 at the box office for the year. This unexpected turn in reception sheds light on the film's initial struggle to resonate with audiences. The repetition of the name Charlie serves as a thematic anchor, while the casting decisions and box office performance contribute to the film's intricate backstory. Teresa Wright's acceptance of her role without reading the script, based solely on Hitchcock's plot briefing, showcases the director's persuasive storytelling and Wright's trust in his vision. The film explores ominous undercurrents in suburban life, symbolized by the foreboding black smoke accompanying Charles Oakley's arrival on a train. Hitchcock's explanation of this choice adds another layer to the narrative. The enduring structures from the film, like the Newton family home and the Stone Railway Station in Santa Rosa, offer a tangible connection to its history. While some locations, like the Carnegie Library, met their end, the film's use of authentic settings enhances its lasting impact. The inclusion of local residents, such as Edna May Wanacott and Estelle Jewell, aligns with Hitchcock's commitment to authenticity. In conclusion, Hitchcock's favorite film, Shadow of a Doubt, weaves a complex narrative through meticulous casting, symbolic motifs, and a mix of historical and authentic locations. Its initial commercial struggles contrast with its eventual status as a cinematic classic, leaving a lasting impact on both the town of Santa Rosa and the world of filmmaking. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Shadow of a Doubt, let the echoes of its timeless narrative resonate within you. The silver screen unveiled an intricate dance of suspense and emotion in 1943, inviting you to journey through the shadows of doubt alongside its compelling characters. Now, as the credits roll, take a moment to unravel the threads of your own connection with this cinematic masterpiece. Perhaps it's the subtle nuances in Joseph Cotton's portrayal or the chilling charm that Hitchcock masterfully wove into every frame. Did the film's noir aesthetics leave an indelible imprint on your cinematic soul, or did Teresa Wright's performance strike a chord that still reverberates today? In the quiet aftermath of this celluloid experience, we invite you to share your cherished memories, your reflections, and the layers of emotion that Shadow of a Doubt has stirred within you. Whether it's a fleeting recollection of watching it with a loved one or a profound realization that emerged in the darkened theater, your narrative is a vital piece of the mosaic that makes this film a living, breathing entity. 
Connect with us, fellow cinephile, and let the symphony of shared experiences enrich our collective appreciation for this classic. Your thoughts are the brushstrokes that paint the canvas of our cinematic discourse. So, drop your musings below, and let's weave a tapestry of reflections that transcends time and space. Thank you for embarking on this introspective journey with us, and for sharing your unique perspective on Shadow of a Doubt. Until our next rendezvous with the silver screen, happy reflections, and thank you for your time and interest in this cinematic conversation.